Hi, in this episode of the beginner's guide I continue with the cover 2 levels, so let's go ahead and select covers, levels and the next option is alpha and this alpha option works on semi-transparent layers or selections. Notice how the option is disabled and this is because we don't have an alpha channel applied to our image so I'm going to right click and add an alpha channel and the tool is going to disappear so I'll need to start it again and you see that now the option is active and we can select it now because this image is on full opacity the only thing I can do is use the output levels and if I grab this slider and move it to the left you see that the image becomes transparent so more black means more transparency and more white means more opacity and all the way to the right means full opacity. Next, to explore this option a little bit further, let's create another layer and I'll enter 500 pixels for the width and height, then click OK. Next, I'll grab the Move tool, select the Move the Active Layer option and move this layer over here. Next, I'm going to grab the Brush tool, select this brush adjust the size of the brush and then I'll click on the foreground cover to start the cover selection dialog and first I'll select this red cover then I'll select let's say this green cover and paint with it and let's also select this orange and maybe a little bit of yellow next I'm going to select the eraser tool make the brush bigger and also reduce the opacity to 50 and then I'm going to erase this layer and this will make it semi-transparent and the whole point of this exercise was that now we have an image here which is semi-transparent but the layer is still on full opacity and let's go ahead to colors and select levels again and let's start with the output levels first I'll grab this slider and move it to the right and you'll see that I'm getting more opacity and if I go back and then grab this slider and move it to the left you'll see that I'm getting more transparency and all the way to the black here the object becomes completely transparent now let's reset and then go to the input levels this time if I grab this slider and move it to the right you'll see that we're getting more transparency now notice here this black line, if I go beyond it, the object is already fully transparent. I'm going to talk about this in detail in the next tutorials, but for now just know that this line here is a graphic representation of the number of pixels, colors, tones in our image here. And by moving this slider over here, I already affected the image with maximum amount of black and that's why it becomes fully transparent and if I reset the tool and grab this slider and move it to the left you see that beyond this point the image is on full opacity and of course with the midpoint we can also adjust the amount of transparency so that's it for this alpha option and I'm going to continue with more options in the next tutorial I'll try to give you a lot of details and also examples because this tool is one of the most difficult to understand especially for beginners so that's it for this tutorial I hope that this was a useful video and if it was like it subscribe that's it for now bye